when we had last left the tarnished, they met with Blythe, a wolf man who looked quite terrifying and harrowing, but was actually kind of chill, and wanted them to meet Darawil, someone that they slew long ago inside of one of the ever jails. But they had uh, managed to somehow suss out the fact that they should go back there, and they got a fun rock, and were recommended to some giant blacksmith or whatever in the northern areas of Raya Lucaria. But now, they traveled southward instead, where absolutely no one told them to go. <laughs> where, it turned out, there was some sort of servant uprising. Indeed, there was. But all was not as it had seemed, for the servants had become chicken people, and they found themselves embroiled in some sort of feud, and also being shot at by a giant guy and going inside of a wizard's tower and inside of an impaler's catacomb. This is Elden Ring. Welcome back. Ooh. Oh, we should probably rest. There we go. Good. Okay. What does this message say? Be wary of close quarters battle. That's what I like, though. Be wary of left. Enemy ahead. Okay. Oh. Alright. There you have it. Smithing stone one. Pack ahead. Is one going to come out of the ceiling or out of a weird fucked up hole or... No? What sort of a pack? Hmm. Been deceived. Okay. Here's our door that we have to open. Ah, pack. Pickle ahead. A lot of dead folks here. Fun flower. Grave glovewort. Oh, you know what? I forgot to do reading last time. Eh. We can make up for it this time, hopefully. <laughs> Skeleton. Yep. Many of them. Oh, dear. Be wary of right. Be wary of right. Be wary of right. Jesus, it's really some... Oh, something on the right here. Visions of campsite. No gesturing ahead. Grave glove wart. Wart, wart, wart. Okay, well, let's backtrack. I don't think I have any weapons that require the glove wart, though. The fuck is that up there? Oh, it's a plant. Well, that scared the shit out of me, so I immediately got off of it. Okay. Oh, look, you can actually go down there, too. Oh, you probably want to, in fact. Ah, time for down. I see. Well, there is something over there on the left. Let's check it out. Oh, the top doesn't come down. Or it stops right here. I want to go home. Help me. <laughs> I want to go home. Okay. Uh-oh. I'm dead. Oh, fuck! <laughs> the way it just jerked up real quick was really funny. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what a sick bastard. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Alright. 
There we are. Good. What do you think it'll jerk down and smash you that way too? <laughs> All right. Good, good, good. I bet it comes down. No? Oh, come on. Good luck. I did it. Visions of dung. Therefore, likely gorgeous view. Try looking away. Oh, from the poop people. Oh no, piss and shit people. Ah. Oh, what the fuck? Oh no, you're a piss and shit vampire. <laughs> oh no, they suck you off and everything. Oh wait, are they like undead for real? They just come back? What just happened there? They put their head back on? Prattling pate. Please help. Oh yeah, they're just gonna keep coming out of here, huh? 36 a pop. Okay, well we just have to avoid them then. Okay. Root resin. Ooh. Good thing they're slow as shit. It's slurping just in case. Oh, why am I so slow as shit? It's because you are shit. <laughs> you are a poop and shit person. You are shit. <laughs> they don't like that. Okay. Hopefully they can't climb out of their shithole. Look at them down there festering. Cavorting. Copulating. And here's our lever. Get the pull. And see what prizes await. Oh no! It's a little man. Remember when they actually used to deal a lot to us? Not so much anymore, huh? I guess armor and the natural, like, armor you get from leveling, right? What sort of mini boss will we face this time? Time for ranged battle. First off, weak foe. Let's get him. Oh, it's another one of these. I wonder if this one does something different or if it, it's just because it has friends. Well, no, didn't the last one have friends too? Oh, shit. Jeez, I went right into its ass. Oh my god. Oh, fuck, it killed me. <laughs> Alright. Oh, it has three heads this time. I think the last one only had one head. Ah, oh, that's how you know it's tough. <laughs> like almost a third of its health in one hit by doing that from behind. Oh, shit. It may still kill me, though. Oh, fuck, it did. Got blood loss. That's no good. Uh-oh. Fuck. <laughs> oh, man. We're dying a lot to this thing. We should not be. <laughs> it's the fact that there's so many little dudes around. I think we even one-shot the its brethren a while back, right? Didn't we kill its brethren in like one attempt? Through this. So is that thing the Impaler? No, it would be the watchdog for the Impaler. Right? Oh my God. have been eliminated. Good. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, 
god, I thought it only did one more. <laughs> there we are. Demi-human ashes. Oh, so we get little, like, imps and goblins. What fun. Okay. Resin. Why is it always chaos? Rump ahead, therefore offer seed. Seek God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> like that. <laughs> well done. Try up butt fingers. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Seek God. That was good. I like that. <laughs> okay. How many uh, units do we need to level? Oh, we're about 50% of the way there. Okay. Sure. Let's get on out of here. There we are. Up and around. What is that? Is that one of those fucking, yeah, the dragonflies? Okay. Fair enough. Let's check this. Hmm. Oh, can we cross over to that now? On top of the ruin? Because didn't we, like, go underneath a whole bunch at some point? Alright. Over here. Oh, there's something. It's a chair. A stone sword key. Was this a fallout creature? <laughs> right, this is very fallout environmental storytelling. <laughs> Just a skeleton facing like a horizon or whatever. Time for sleep. Could this be a seed? Time for sleep. It's very good. Okay. Oh, here's our old codger pointing the way. Cemetery ahead. Correct. Yeah, look at this. Now we can cross over to this, like, little plateau. Which, I don't know if it was inaccessible prior, but we have access to it from this route now. Some sort of structure. Golden rune. Oh, no. These fucking things. I'm not a fan of these, like, fart plants. Golden rune. Some pissed off dude. Hmm. Is there any reason to jump down there? I don't think so. Don't see anything. There's an enemy. Ow, fuck off. Jeez. Okay. Take it easy. Something incredible ahead. Okay. I wonder who they were sniping at. The Sight of Grace, I guess? Yeah, it's one we haven't gotten either. Be wary of rump. Great tree ahead. True. What's the incredible something? A hand ballista! Wow. Okay.
Just gonna drop. Try ladder, and then armament ahead. Oh, whoops. Just going to give them a upward appraisal. Okay. Neat. What's going on over there? Are those people, like, cowering? Huh. Okay. Nasty plants. Just out here. Ugh. And farting on me. Okay. So what's down this way? Is this where we... Yeah. This is where the chickens were. That's where the lone peace-loving giant is, cowering in fear, I guess. Doesn't know what to make of all the weird shit going on. Worth the trouble. <laughs> Fuck me. Okay. So isn't that our friend up ahead? Yeah, our vendor friend. So let's loop around this way then. See what's over here. Because there was that side of grace. Oh, this is it. Okay. Seek God and then offer whole. Jeez. Oh, uh, look. Trifecta or double down Burger King. Okay, now what do we got? Some sort of rickety looking bridge. Yeah, plank and rope bridge. Something fucked up in the way. Is this thing gonna get up and like try and get me? Oh yeah. What is this, some kind of rat man? fuck happened? Huh. Yeah, it's some kind of, like, a wolf. Strange. Okay. My instinct is to go over here to the western section. Away from where the grace is pointing. Okay. Well... May as well take the bridge. We cleared it. Anything up here, though? Nope. Look at these fun trees over here. That's it. Be wary of grass. Oh, yeah. Look at that. There's a whole bunch of farting dudes down there. There's some loot amongst them as well. Visions of too high up. Hmm. Looks like a little way to jump down. But you can jump down using the jump pad. Oh. Oh, God. What's your fucking deal? like a golden weapon? Oh, you fart. You have a farting tree on your back. Oh, what the fuck? 
Be wary of ranged battle. From who? From this farting guy? Okay. Is something ranged going to get me here? Maybe that one? Proceeding on off of mount. Okay. Easy does it. Oh look, there's something up there. In the bushes or in the foliage. Foliage. Oh no! The connection has been lost. What the fuck? Shit. Alright. Fuck me. I guess we'll just quickly restart here in offline mode. Shoo. What, are they doing maintenance or something? I don't even know. Maybe I lost internet. Pfft, shit. Okay, where the hell are we? Same place, right? Yeah. Roughly speaking. Oh, is that a plant? I think that's just one of those big, like, orbital strike plants. Yeah. Not a fan of fighting these wretched fucking things. They take forever, and they don't really give you too much. So we're just gonna leave it be. Okay. Let's keep looking up here, I guess. Where the fuck am I going, dude? <laughs> Alright. I guess we're going up to this thing? What is this? Some sort of- oh, this is another church. Alright. Bunch of poor souls over here. Oh, fuck off with that fire. Come on. Ugh. Some spectral being here as well. Sight of grace. Hey. The mausoleum prowls, cradling the soulless demigod. Okay. Time for head. Okay. Cool. Something incredible ahead. Left. By the way, shield. Let's touch it. Reach out and toss grace. <laughs> Isn't that... That's the song, right? <laughs> oh, God. A horrible visage of a dude. What is this? A sacred tear, of course, right. Ta taking on all at once. Oh, these little... Golden centipedes. Okay. I guess we'll enter this area for what little good it may do us. Fighting this horrible looking thing. Worried we wouldn't hit it. Blood grease, two of them. Okay. Huh. Let's mount up so we have some more mobility here. What have we got? We got anything? The fuck am I looking at? What is that over there? I don't even know. That's the start of the game. Hmm. There's a loot. Oh, gilded iron shield. Shield ahead. <laughs> okay. 
Let's see. What are the stats on it? Out of curiosity. It's a small shield, but it's pretty useful. For 69 physical damage on a small shield. Physical damage negation. And the guard boost is 48. Which seems like it might be good for a, a small one, right? Yeah, you know, the lightning though is, of course, as you would expect, like a nightmare. Okay. We do need to read all this stuff. Church of Pilgrimage, it's called. What have we got up here? Some fucking birds of some sort? Yeah, look at them all. Fly away, birds. What else is around here? Looks like there's shit down here along the coastline. If we can reach it. Which it looks like down there is how you reach it. Yeah, look at that. Could be something. Okay. Well. Let's dismount here and charge up our flask at the very least. Okay. Oh, we can talk to Melina. Right, because it's a church. Or Melina. Spoken echoes of Queen Marika linger here as well. Shall I share them with you? I'm interested. In Marika's own words. Then, after thy death, I will give back what I once claimed. Return to the lands between. Wage war. And brandish the Elden Ring. Grow strong in the face of death. Warriors of my lord. Lord Godfrey. Okay. Sure. Let's, uh, get our flasks going. <laughs> Increase amount. There we go. Do we have any more seeds? Oh, added a charge. We did have enough. Have any more? No. Increase amount? No. Okay. Cool. Wow, we're up to nine now. Sheesh. Quite a few. Alright, well, let's go down over here. Let's see. No, not by that thing. Over here, though, right? Yeah, look down around this. Ah, could this be something? Oh, this could be something. No item ahead. Oh, fuck. Why is it always liar? Hidden path ahead. Or did I come at it from a different angle than they did? Oh! It's fucking Count Chocula. Alright. Gotcha. Ah, legs. Bird. Death ahead. Oh, wait. Let's be dismounted for this. Seems safer to smash him. They can move a little wildly. People down there. Okay. Another Count Chocula. Quite a few of them, in fact. They have taken flight. Jeez. There we go. Always important in these games to discern when you should and should not lock onto an enemy, right? A bewitching branch. Oh. Okay. Let's drop down over here. I don't know if this will go anywhere. Be wary of high spot. Dead end ahead. 
Really? Huh. Could this be an item? Let's mount up. That fucking wild ass. Like. Talon of a hat. Well, that looks like something right there. Okay. Anything over on this? Might not be. No. Jump attack required ahead. Just dismounting to safely turn around. Now, there was this little passage here, which I'm not sure if this will get us anywhere. Yeah, it may just get us to certain death. I'm not going to risk it. Okay. Let's go on up. Oh, I almost didn't see these dog things blending in. Okay. What's up here? Anything good up here? This is this leads back to the church, right? Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. So let's consult our map. Oh hey, look one of these things. An old codger. Pointing toward something good, I bet. Yeah, look at this. Where do you point, old codger? South. Cave. Right. I do kind of love that we figured out that old codger thing. Okay. Oh, I see it. Cool. Touch some grace. Tombs ward. Catacombs. Good. I guess we may as well rest. No reason not to. Good. And let's press forward. Oh. What the hell is this? Oh, it's got a... Stone sword. Gateway. Huh. So can you not do this dungeon without them? Maybe. We'll see. Okay. Glove wart. So far, so good. Oh, shit. There we go. Some arrows. What else is here? Liar ahead. Time for skeleton. It was time for skeleton. Just a mess of messages. Can you spell messages without mess? Oh, shit. Well, I guess we got the assassinate on the the fucking skeleton. This seems scary. What is that noise? Is that big ball of skeletons? Try ranged battle. Fuck, one of these? 
<sighs> okay. Well, you know what? Do we actually have any, um... Let's put that there. Don't I have, like, throwing knives or something? Yeah, throwing dagger. Can't I even craft some? Item crafting. Yeah, bone darts. Throw. Okay. Great. Yeah, let's do that. And then... So I don't have to fucking equip a unit every now and then for these. And how far does it go, I wonder? Oh, shit. Did I hit it? <laughs> oh, come on. That should have been a hit. I saw it. I saw the little, like, tracer. Ugh. Alright, fine. Let's see here. Should have picked up that light crossbow. Oh, you know what? We put it in the wrong slot. Because we won't be able to aim down sights. Or, not, not even down sights, but we won't be able to aim. Let's see if I remember how to do it. That shit work? Human bone shard. Oh. Skeleton. Oop. Gold ring? stuff. Okay. Do we want to proceed from the top or the bottom? Wait, is this where we came from? Try bow. Is this where we came from? Oh shit, it is. Wait, is it? I don't know that is. It must be. Okay. Yeah, it is. Okay. We'll wait for this to go back up. We'll play it safe. We'll smack it again whenever it comes back up. If it ever does, maybe it won't. Maybe you can smack it again to reset the timer? This is getting a little concerning. Huh? No? Nothing? Can hear something rustling around. So maybe it's just a weird ghostly flame. Okay. Oh, fuck it. Still got my other thing. My crossbow equipped. Alright. 
prattling pate. Thank you. All right, good. Ah, it's like a dream. Be wary of pack. I want to get to go back up again. Oh shit. Weird. I'm slurping. Now where am I? I don't know. No skeletons. Oh, now we got some. There it is. Good stuff. Offer grace. Behind, oh behind. Be wary of down. Here's our lever. Okay. Activate this. Yep. There it is. Heavy door is opened. Let's re-equip our other hammer. Oh, the large club is considered a war hammer. Hmm, makes sense, I guess. It does have good scaling. Yeah, already it's a C in scaling. I don't know what the damage is, though. And it is low weight, but it doesn't look as cool as wielding a fucking big ass hammer, <laughs> right? That's the thing. It doesn't have a big fucking mallet on the end of it. It's just a big stick. Okay, let's go up this way. I'm tempted to, before we engage this enemy, that we, uh, we check out behind the fog gate. Or the stone dude machine thing. Yeah, this. How many do we use? Just one. I wonder if there'll be any where we use like more than two. Nomadic Warrior's Cookbook. Eh, number nine. I guess we'll see what it does. Well, no, we'll do after this. We'll do a whole bunch of reading after this encounter. Or boss. Actually, should we... Well, no, because we might kill it easy. It's just a mini-boss, right? As far as we know. Okay. Here we go. Cemetery Shade. No ads. Seems to have like a ranged weapon. Oh, what the fuck? <gasps> oh, it's trapped me. Oh, I'm like held. Oh, it's got like a bug for a head. Okay, well, I've never fought anything like this before. Good thing it's not particularly strong. It does do a lot of bleed though. That ain't great. Oh. Ugh. Nimbly dodged. Oh shit. Oh, there's the blood loss. I'm slurping. Yeah, we like three shot this thing. Three hits and you're out. Lutel the Headless. Was that, is that who we get? I mean, the, the hold effect is pretty good, if that's what it's going to do. I did it! It's like a dream. Why is it always weak foe? Ru 
fruit resin. Didn't expect lever. Lift. Hole ahead. Man, people saw the first few, like, butthole aheads on these things, and they thought that was just, like, the fucking funniest shit ever, and they put them fucking everywhere, huh? <laughs> they were like, oh, fuck yeah, me too, hell yes! <laughs> fuck, I gotta let them know, I gotta fucking let them know! They're gonna fucking love it, they're gonna fucking love it! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Not to yuck on their yum, but sheesh. <laughs> Alright, yeah, see, there we go. There's our wolf man. All right. Cool. And let's see, how many units do we need to level? About 1.2. So let's actually just pop one of the bigger ones if we still have any. Good. Okay, level up. Should we get Vigor again? I think so. Tempted to. Yeah, I think we bring it to 30. And then we'll put more into Strength. Okay. Let's see now. I guess if you want to stick around, we will be doing quite a bit of reading. Huh? Let's see. Inventory. So what all new do we have here? Hmm. This. Bewitching Branch. Uses FP to charm pierced enemy. We have three of them, in fact. Tree Branch blessed with an incantation of unalloyed gold. Oh, don't we already... Yeah, we found one of these a while back, didn't we? Okay. Sure. We're getting quite a few of these consumables. Should consider spending them. But I'm always worried there's going to be a bigger foe who needs him. I guess we can use this. Thank you. <laughs> Please go. Hmm. Okay. Now we got a few summoners. Ancestral follower? A spirit of the horned folk who eschews, who eschew letters and metalworking, brawny and versed in distinctive spiritual arts, this particular tribesman wields a heavy bow. Oh, here's a question. What if... Going on to our weird... Uh... Like... Planet shit. What if they're like the original... What if they're like the true like, point in time for this planet, right? And everything else is because of some sort of, uh, sort of Star Trek sort of invasion or whatever that tried to uplift the planet, but did so in not a great way, right? What if they're the original indigenous life forms on this planet? And we are, like, I guess we? I don't know. Whoever arrived here at some sort of <laughs> this is the all right the, the 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 amount of hoops we're jumping through for this is getting pretty wild right <laughs> but bear with me what if what if they're like the originals and uh they were invaded so to speak they they had first contact when they were in like the stone age or whatever right you know just thinking about in like star trek kind of terms or whatever Let's see. Over here, noble sorcerer, demi-human. Spirits of demi-humans that are small in stature, but have a violent, brutish disposition. Though they seem somewhat intelligent, when night falls, their blood boils and they become feral. Huh, so they actually get the thing where they're tougher at night, I guess. It looks like there's two, four, five of them? And one has a big club? Lutel the Headless. Legendary Ashen Remains. Wait, are none of the other ones considered legendary? Yeah, it doesn't say as much. Huh. Wow. 
spirit of a headless knight who leads the mausoleum soldiers wields a lance enrobed in death, capital D, and hurls spectral lances at foes. Lutel sacrificed her life in death, so... Lutel sacrificed her, her life so that in death she could continue to protect a soulless demigod until their revival, earning her the hero's honor of Erdtree burial. Huh. Protect a soulless demigod upon until their revival. Interesting. Okay. Let's see. What else do we have here? Oh, the gravel stone. Such compound stones found in lands once beset by ancient dragons are said to be the scales of those very beasts. Oh. Huh. Okay. Let's see. Man, yeah, look at all this fucking different kinds of glove wart. Ghost and grave. I don't even know if... Oh, this is for strengthening your ashes. I see. Oh, and strengthens renowned ashes. Gotcha. Huh. All right. And the memory stone does not need to be used, just having it is enough. We already read this. Said to be a fragment of the black moon that once hung above the Eternal City. Oh, I wonder if the black moon was like their way of flying. Right? It was like their source of anti-gravity energy. Give to the blind maiden to guide her to the distant light. We know a blind maiden. But I don't know if I want to give her this. Hmm. Though is she technically blind? I don't know. Let's see. Number nine here. Rancor pot. Alright. I think we had also picked up something else, but I don't remember what. As far as crafting is concerned. Alright. What else here? Mighty shot. Archery skill performed from an oblique stance. Ready the bow, then pull the bowstring to limit, to its limit to enhance the power of the shot, penetrating the enemy's guard. Eh. Horns? Creates a mighty horn on the caster's shoulder. Now we know of that. Okay. Melee armaments. Did we get any new melees, didn't we? Large club. A simple primitive weapon that requires only brute strength to swing about. Oh, the flail, of course. A flail with two additional bludgeoning heads. Weapon of the Knight's Cavalry, who pride, who ride funeral steeds. The large spikes make it highly effective at inducing blood loss, but also demand higher dexterity to wield. It does a spinning effect as well. Morning Star. Warhammer comprised of a globe attached to a handle, though a bludgeon dealing strike damage, the appellative star is covered in spikes which cause blood loss. Ironic given, given its graceful name, this weapon often reeks of blood. Crescent moon axe, nah. I've read of these. Shamshir? A devastatingly powerful weapon in the hands of a skilled swordsman. Nah. Okay. Glintstone Staff, Staff of Loss. Huh. Alright, the shield. Small metal round shield. Heavier than a wooden shield, but boasts higher damage negation. Though the golden though the gold leaf is peeling and the effect is slight, it still boosts holy damage negation. Spiked palisade shield. A large wooden shield covered with spikes. Though relatively light, it lacks in damage negation. Designed to perform shield bashes, these attacks riddle the enemy with holes, earning it the nickname of Pard Shield. Great Turtle Shield, or Shell. Shield fashioned from a Great Turtle Shell. The natural curve helps it contend with foe's attacks. The turtle is a symbol of tirelessness, and this shield boosts stamina recovery speed. Oh. 
Barricade Shield. Skill made famous by Sir Needhart. Focus your energy into the shield, temporarily hardening it to deflect greater blows. Huh. Okay. Fascinating. Oh, look. The turtle shell also does 100 physical. Guard boost is almost 50. Causes blood loss buildup. 70. I wonder what it was on the Morningstar and Flail. 50. 50. 50. Wow, so the... The Palisade is actually quite good at it. Hook Claws, 60. Yeah, the Palisade is actually really good if you're a bleed build and you want to use a big shield like that. Okay, what else have we got? Hmm. Not sure if we have anything else. All oh, right, this thing. Raises maximum HP. All oh, right, yeah, I don't know how much it, it does it by. Well, let's check. So right now, 903. 957, so about a level and a half worth. It would come in more handy later down the line. Which, in saying that, a level and a half worth, 57 HP right now. Or, not 57, but I guess 54 HP. That's like, um, that's a little over, what, 5%? That's like 7% or so bonus HP. That ain't bad. Okay. Sure. Lovely. All right. Well, I think we read everything. I suppose when next we come back, we'll continue our adventures in and around this area. Right? We still have quite a bit to look at. We can even look at this big old tree. It's usually something good at the foot of them, right? And then we can head over here to this horrible looking thing. This might be an Everjail, but I'm not convinced. Bunch of towers and stuff. Look, some exterior graves like before as well. Yeah, a lot of stuff to investigate over there. And then we can head into the big castle. Feels almost as though we've out-leveled this area. I'm not sure. It definitely seems easier than the underground area that we visited, right? At the Mistwood Ruins. So far, at least. We'll see. Alright, until next time, please take care of each other.